Okay, welcome to another episode of the Pierce Brothers. Today we're going to be talking about the HKP7. So the P7, it's a really unique pistol uh, designed by HK in the 70s. This one was made in 1982. It's a um, German police gun, uh, police surplus. Uh, they're chambered in 9mm. There was three different models or a few different models that were made. This one is the original model as the heel mag release here. Uh, that did develop the P7M8. It had a um, more American style release up here. And then they had the P7M13 which had a double stack magazine. Um, these are really cool pistols. They got a, a low bore axis. They're glass de gas delayed blowback pistol. Um, because of that, they have a fixed barrel. So the squeeze cocker actually is, uh, these are a squeeze cocker design, so so the gun's empty. So um, basically, the gun won't be cocked even if you chamber around until you squeeze this lever here. Um, and if you squeeze it, you can see the striker in the back is cocked. Um, and then if you just let it go, that uncocks the pistol and is completely safe. Um, the squeeze cocker has the added benefit of having a very, um, very good trigger pull. Almost more like a single action pistol would have. Um, not much take up if you just go in right there. A little bit of take up and then it breaks. Nice and nice and good pull. Um, so yeah, that's the P7. Let's, uh, let's go and put another magazine through it. Another cool thing about the P7 is if you are you shot a mag and your slide's locked to the back, you insert another magazine, if you sque squeeze the lever, it drops the slide chambering around and you're ready to go again. This will be my first time shooting the HK P7, so hopefully Jake explained it well enough so I actually know what I'm doing. <laughs> So we're gonna insert, and then you squeeze that, and voila, ready to rock and roll again. Okay guys, so we're done shooting the P7 today. So I got disassembled, and we're gonna go and clean it. I'll show you the most important parts to clean. Um, these are a gun that you really wanna clean every time you shoot. Uh, you wanna make sure you keep your gas piston clean and free of carbon buildup and then the gas cylinder which is located under the bar uh, underneath the barrel you want to make sure there's no carbon in there um, so what we're first going to do I'm just going to spray a little solvent on here and then we'll just take a nylon brush you do not want to use steel brass copper brushes at all because it will damage these rings on here and the gun will not function properly it'll uh, Kind of batter itself to death. We'll just kind of, you don't even have to do, uh, be very aggressive at it, just kind of get the, the carbon buildup off. So we'll do that first. And we'll take our towel and you want to make sure you get all the solvent off of that. You don't want any, um, no lubrication, nothing that'll attract the carbon and build it up. Now to clean the gas cylinder, that's a very, um, you need two, uh, two different tools for that. You need the, um, the brush here and the scraper. And both of those are specific tools. There are no substitutes. You can go buy those off of uh, HK Parts Net. Um, they've got these a good set here for not too much money. Um, what we're gonna do just run this 
brush down. We're just going to clean that carbon out. These are expensive pistols and you want to make sure you maintain your gun, you know. Keep your investment working good. So this is the scraper here. It's also a multi-tool. You got these parts up here to disassemble the slide and whatnot. Now what you do with this, insert it until it stops. Turn it six times. And that basically just scrapes all the carbon um, out the back of the that um, gas cylinder. Okay, I'm going to run this brush down a couple more times. Make sure we get all that carbon as, as much as possible. Basically what happens is you're, uh, um, you don't do this step, don't clean these parts, you'll get carbon buildup in your gas cylinder and, uh, and here and your gun will actually start to bind up. And uh, those are two finely fit parts. And they have to be within a certain spec to work. And so you just want to make sure you keep that clean. Other than that, the gun's a pretty low maintenance gun. There, um, I just put a little grease on the rails and uh, not much else is needed really. And that should be out do it. I'm just gonna make sure there's no I'll just kind of wipe down the other parts, um, get the feed ramp. I don't have a four brush with me today, but you would want to run something down the barrel, just get the, the carbon out of there. Um, and that's about it. Okay guys, so some closing thoughts for the P7. Uh, these are really cool, unique pieces. There's not many guns like these. Uh, there's not many guns like these. Um, out there. Uh, I've got probably around 400 rounds to this particular one. It's not one I shoot a whole lot because um, pretty expensive guns and they're uh, pretty collectible nowadays so I try to take care of this one. Uh, but it's a really good shooting gun. It shoots really well right to the point of aim. It's um, been really reliable. I haven't had a single issue yet. I have shot a little bit of hold points. Um, I shot some Hornady 124 grain XTPs through it and they uh, they fed and functioned fine. Um, it's probably an over-engineered gun, but um, but they're really cool. So if you're looking for one, I would highly suggest you pick one up. Um, and I guess that pretty much closes our video. Um, thank you for watching our our, our uh, this episode of the Pierce Brothers, and uh, be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. If you want to see something in particular in the future, uh, make sure you put those in the comments section, and we will see about doing that. Thank you.